Hello! I haven't done a video in a while and I figured I would do an update. Um, <laughs> I'm not using, I bought that wonderful new webcam, but I'm downstairs and it's upstairs. And I just don't quite have the uh, energy to do that right now. Um, but how am I doing otherwise? How am I doing otherwise? I'm sure you're all wondering. Well, I'm doing not bad, as you might gather, because I'm home and I'm happy today. Uh, although I did have two medical appointments today. Uh, things have not gone perfectly. I did wind up having to call an ambulance and go back to the hospital last week for a day when I was having palpitations. And uh, between that and um, the fact that my heart stops every night. This is one of these weird little things. They told me this when I was in the hospital. Apparently every single night my heart just stops for a couple of seconds. And then it starts again. And they were really concerned about this, but they noticed it never woke up. I never woke up. It never stressed me out. It was kind of freaked out when they told me, but otherwise I was totally oblivious to it. So they were kind of, oh, well, your heart stops every night, but it doesn't seem to be a bad thing. Um, but because of the ambulance thing, today I had to go down to the hospital and get a whole bunch of wires on me, as well as, oh, I'm trying to get it out here. Oh, here it is, hidden by my beard. A little heart monitor. It's a little case there. So I'm going to be wearing that for 48 hours as it records my heart. And I have, here's some sheets. I have her sheet, which is my heart diary. And I have to write down every time I feel something not good and, and they'll correlate it with the time to what's happening with my heart. And then I've got uh, this one, which is an appointment on the 10th. And then I've got that. That's appointment on the 14th. This one is also on the 14th but very close to the other one. And then there's the 16th. Uh, I've got appointments and appointments and appointments. And that doesn't include the fact that I'm getting bandages, my compression bandages changed. And then I'm gonna be getting compression socks. I have to wear compression socks. I don't like socks. I really don't like socks. I like going barefoot. Barefoot is best. Uh, if I have to wear socks, I roll them down to my ankles. And now I'm being told that I have to wear socks all the way up to my knees every single day, which, you know, I got a low salt diet. I'm not allowed fluids. I can't travel. I can't do this. Can't do that. Can't do this. But these socks are the most imposition, the most horrible element to everything so far, or at least they will be. Uh, other than that, I'm, you know, staying inside. It's beautiful hot outside. Everyone is complaining because it's too hot. But when it's too hot, that's when I like it. You know, I my, my dream is for it to be body temperature outside, and I think everyone else would be dying, but I'd be happy. Uh, but it's not. And I, I, I did go grocery shopping. I haven't been to No Frills in, that's across the street, in quite a long time. But I went today uh, on my way back from, from the second uh, visit to the, the, the clinic. I was at the hospital to get the heart monitor. Then I went to the clinic and got my bandages changed. Then I went to no frost. Then I came upstairs and this was completely soaked with sweat. And I just lay here for about, oh my God, I'm dying. <sighs> um, other than that, travesties is coming up. Though so this is a bit of a promo. I don't have a link yet from Tim, but I'll be sharing that as soon as I do. Uh, and we're all on, we're all on board. We're steaming forward. We're going to be doing that on Sunday night, uh, starting at 7, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. I have an international cast of four city, four city, five city, five city cast, five city cast going. Uh, we have Dustin Freeman, who is in New York City. We have me, who is here. I'm going to forget someone, I'm sure, as I do this. And then in Winnipeg, we have Tim, who's running it, and his wife, who's playing Nadia. We also have Emily and Jacina, who are playing Gwendolyn and Cecily, and Brent, who is playing Lennon, uh, heading out to Vancouver. We have Marcel, who is playing Bennett, and heading all the way down to Los Angeles, we have Oliver, and he is playing Tristan Zara. So it's this huge arcing thing all across two countries. How can you resist watching? <laughs> and I don't think I left anyone out, so that's good. Um, I got another thing that I'm working on. I think I mentioned it when I was in the hospital. Uh, I have discovered that uh, I, 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 it doesn't look it because I, I 
put a lot of energy into when I'm sitting here, I am on camera, but uh, I really don't have the energy that I used to have. And I've realized that um, if I am going to be doing anything, the next project that I'm working on, that I've talked to a couple people about, uh, I'm really going to need actors who are able to take care of themselves and take take on some responsibility for themselves because I don't have I don't have the the energy levels that I used to, which is a case of Ross Um <laughs> We shall see. Uh, what else? I'm at 5 minutes and 38, 39, 40 seconds. Uh, I feel like I should tell some story because I've got all this extra time. But there hasn't really been anything terribly exciting. I've heard from more old friends, uh, which is really, really nice, except for one who was like, I can't handle, I can't handle the burdens of your life. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh, yes, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that I have the heart failure and I have 30% heart function. This is a terrible burden for you. Oh, you poor guy. Some people are assholes. Some people, you know, you're just like, why Why was I friends with you? I, I'm regretting the fact that I ever was because you're being a dick right now. <laughs> um... And on the other hand, the ones who I haven't seen for years, who have reminded me of why I was friends with them in the first place. Because now, when I'm in the hardest times, which I guess I would say, this is probably, yeah, the hardest times of my life. You know, there's lots of things that you think are really hard times. They're emotionally hard. They're stressful. They're this, they're that, or the other thing. But when your health just completely collapses away from you, and you really have... Nothing that you can really do to, to solve it. The people who are there, they're the ones who are really there. And uh, they're the ones that you discover really, really matter in your life. Um, I've been told by quite a number of people that I'm, I'm doing remarkably well. They think I'm like so... Wow, you're handling all this really well. And I must give credit. I've been seeing a therapist, and I totally give credit to that guy, Spencer. Not Spencer, who I work. I have a brain Spencer and a body Spencer. Two different guys named Spencer. One is the one who is my um, was my therapist, and the other one is the one who is doing the personal training with me. Although not at the moment, because of these compression bandages. I don't want to get sweat in these, because I can't take them off for days at a time. So, ah. so yeah. The, he definitely has been helping me keep it together at times when when I, I'm not this enthusiastic and I'm not this well put together. Uh, oh no, I've just revealed something dark secret. So that's my update. That's my update. Health, moderate, medical care, tons of it coming up. Uh... Keep, keeping my mind together, keeping my soul together, and travesties coming up this weekend. Please watch it, because I am going to absolutely love doing it, and I hope the rest of the actors are, and we might screw up. We have to say things in Russian, and in German, and some horrible words, and there's some silly, weird stuff in the script, and who knows if it's all going to come together. Oh, and I should also cite Bailey Peterson, who is one of the pieces, there's a piece of music, and we couldn't find an instrumental. So Bailey is going to be making a little instrumental version of it for it for us and uh, and recording that. So, yes, that's what this is all about. It's not just about my heart. It's about travesties. And my favorite play, and I really hope you guys watch it and enjoy it as much as I hope we're all going to enjoy doing it. And everyone should just enjoy themselves. Yes. Thank you. Oh, yes, watch my eyes as I have to look over now. Whoa.